Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another episode with me, Galactic E Gamer, on Primordium Season 2. Oh man, that makes me so, so excited. We are starting the episode off right where we left off, where we did a little bit of terraforming in the last episode, and oh, I was gonna say I've done some mining, but it looks like we have a wandering trader. Mm, okay, let me sleep real quick, and then we will go talk to him. What do you have? Whoop, right click, right click, right click. There we go. Mm. All right, so oxidized uh, daisy, horn chloro block, sand, acacia sapling, brain coral, and a stone cutter. That is from the tetra mod, I believe. Yes. Hmm, that one looks like I would need... Yeah, that one's out of our reach. None of these are... Really that good. I mean, the coral blocks for decoration are kind of nice. But, uh... You don't have anything that I really, really want. Except for the elephant. Let me just get rid of him. And then we will see what the elephant can do. Alright, villager has been taken care of, and if I can put this guy on a lead, I can keep him in one place. Now I will have to get him out of my mine, eventually. Uh, ooh, there's a llama. Hmm, I think the llama... He's gonna go. Yay, I got leather. Leather is more important than a llama at this point. Now! What do we do with this guy? Maybe I need to take my shield out. Is there a way to get on this guy? Maybe I need to feed him acacia blossoms. Uh-huh. Yes. Ah! Perfect! I got two advancements. Now, can I... Ho! Ho! Oh! Oh, oh my! Look at me! Oh, that is awesome! Can can I, this guy move? Uh, kind of. Okay, let me just whoop, get out of this camera view. Okay, yeah, 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 I know you're tethered up. Just relax, man. No need to scream. Okay. I can kind of control him. Let's see. Ho 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 ho! Look at this! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Oh, how am I possibly gonna get this guy out? I think that is gonna be my next problem, but if I can just... No, 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 no. Oh, okay, he's big enough. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep him here for now, and we are gonna have to find a way to carefully get him out of here because he definitely cannot climb the ladder now this episode my plan is to get one these cows in a farm which was supposed to be done last episode two we are going to make a tree farm because wood is a very very valuable resource and three i would like to start this mine going down so we're going to need to go deeper to get some actual resources instead of just coal and iron. And probably number uh, four on that list would be to get the elephant out if possible. So before we can get into that long list of tasks, we are going to be working with the create mod to make some of those farms and automate some of those processes. Alright, so if I understand this correctly... Then we should be able to put iron there, and then we should be able to crush it. Oh, I guess I need to do this a few times. Now we will be able to eventually get automated power, but just for this small job, we should be able to just do this. So taking what I have learned over there with the water and junctions and then saw blades and whatever all that stuff 
I have turned that thing vertical, and we are now going to be digging a massive hole. Now, I need to build a little bit more onto this apparatus before it's actually functional. And I need to come all the way over here, and then I'll just drop down, take some damage. And I wanted to kind of go through the process of how this works. So every surface needs to have glue on it. Something like this. And I'll clean up the mess later. And then on the underside, we then put glue. Well, looks like I'm out of iron again. So I guess we have to head out and get some more. Okay, that should be... Yes, almost a one and... Well, almost two stacks, I guess. Uh, we should be able to... Whoa. Wait. Hang on. What was that? I don't know what that sound was. But... Oh, it's Dick Fine Captain. Okay, what is that? I want that bird. Up I go. I want that bird. I want that bird. Come on. Up we go. How close am I? Nope. Almost. Uh, yes, mine. Yes, I have a bird. All right, I have brought the bird back to base. I also got a little bit of iron. Look at all those drill heads. That is crazy. So I have completed half of the intended width. It's supposed to be all of this. But I was like, you know what? I actually need more resources because this thing is a ridiculous investment of iron. Like, no joke. Literally, like, uh, let's see, 8, 16 stacks of iron just for this. And it, it's, like, ridiculous for what it's actually worth. So this thing will hopefully go as far as it can. And then I'm going to have to find some way to extend it to go down farther. Because I can only go like a max of 64. Now that the hole has been complete and it goes all the way down to the desired height. Way, way down there to deep sight level. I can now pack this thing up and take it with me. And to do that we are going to, let me just get rid of this. I'm using a cart assembler. And I need my wrench. And I'm going to need this to power it. And I believe... Yes! Boom! And I have one minecart contraption. So that is a very easy way to pack everything up and completely move it without having to take everything apart and then rebuild it in a new location. So I can get rid of all that. And that about wraps it up for this episode. I mean, we did a lot, really. We built a tree farm, captured a really, really cool looking sunbird, created a ridiculously deep hole, got a ridiculous amount of resources from that hole, and to top it all off, I tamed a wandering trader's elephant. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys subscribe down below so you do not miss the next episode in this Primordium series. Because next episode is going to be a lot more fun. Anyway, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.